approaches to family life and parenting, in your view, contributed to the rise in problems among our young and our young adolescents? I think it's a great question. I think I, I, forget to, I forget to marry those two questions together. You know, what do I see as the biggest problem with technology? Well, certainly with social media platforms, it's the ratings game. You know, when you're when a young person is looking at the Kim Kardashians of the world, they're always lesser than. They're never pretty enough, smart enough, tall enough, enough enough. And so they're always playing second rate and they don't realize that, you know, these pieces by social influencers, maybe 400 pictures were taken you know, that they're seeing the edited, curated lives of people and they're comparing that to their unedited lives and they never match up. And I think parents have been seduced into that as well. You know, there's no such thing as a perfect parent. And I call it, but you know, I, I can remind people that you're a good enough parent. You're a good enough partner. And I think a lot of people are coming at it from a deficit model. And I think parents, particularly during the pandemic, need to say, you know what, I'm doing as well as I can. And to actually, rather than look at what they're not doing and say, golly, I'm not as good as the parent on the road, is actually say, you know what, you're doing very well to stay in the surfboard. To start from a strength space, I think is really important. Too many people, Teresa, are giving themselves a very, very hard time. And the flogging doesn't, you know, it's a bit like the, the flogging will continue until the morale improves uh, paradigm. I think you have to start from, you know what, I'm doing as best I can and to build from that, rather than actually lamenting how bad I am as a parent or as a per person or as a partner. And I think uh, social media seduces it into taking nothing we do is enough. And I think too many, par too many parents are very hard on themselves. And I think maybe stop the flogging and give yourself some credit would be a good starting premise. Parenting has been, never been more important. And I think I'd like to make the distinction between being a parent and being a, and being a friend. You know, so, some, a lot of parents fall into the trap of trying to be their young, young person's best friend. Actually being a parent sometimes is going to be difficult and de demarcating those lines is not going to be uh, re receive thanks but I think the hand that rocks the cradle is is and should be uh, is the parent and, and that parenting piece that family piece has never been more important to make sure the technology is not rocking that cradle that the parents take back that power from the screen and realise that they can is a really important part I ask it in light of a, the pressures on young couples where both have to go out to work etc so Looking at it from that perspective, what hand, what drivers are presently rocking the cradle? What influences are forming that child from a six month old a right through to entry into school, if it's not the home? Well, I think it's a number. It's obviously the media, you've got technology feeds into that, the school and of course the peers. But the most, I suppose the most important uh, element is the person themselves and their own conditioning. And I, I, I often say that the most important words that you will ever hear in your life are the words that you say to yourself and believe. And, and too many young people that I come across have a crisis in confidence. A, a, a lot of young people are suffering from a low self-esteem. They don't see where their place is, is and their space is in the world. Why is that? Partly because of what we mentioned, this, uh, this continual world of comparison that we're living in 24 hours a day. The ratings game that we're all playing, not just young people, we're all playing this ratings game. You know, the, 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 what I think was a Gore Vidal said, the worst thing that can happen to me is my, my partner succeeds and my neighbour succeeds in life. So we're playing this rating game all the time and we never feel we're enough. Sure. And, and I, I think it's, it's, it's really important that we don't put conditions on a young person's concept of enoughness. And that I often say that no amount of points in the leaving certificate will make you more enough than you already are. No name played on the office door. So no that, affirmation from friends. That's so you are you're you're already enough. And I think we need as as educators, as 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 teachers, as parents, is to remind young people of their own innate self-worth.